man. This never gets old. Got it. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so ladies and gents, I hope you're ready for at least an hour, maybe more, craziness. And hopefully purely good mood. Let's go for it. Mens. Kill Root makes the best songs. It really is, man. This guy just knows how to pump uh, pump everything up. All right, so hold on. Mute. I hear everything. Good. So, um, pressing which button? Ah, record locally. That's right. On the hard drive on top. Why not? Laptop is powerful enough. What's up, friends? This is Manny, and welcome back to War Robots. Today, with a live stream on the Nucleons. It's an older weapon, and uh, I'm not running Sam Stone as a legendary pilot on it, so I'm not quite sure how good they are in this state. The Curie, however, is a good brawler, and so I think it might run pretty well on the Curie. Haven't seen it being used much on it, although I think it is probably a decent setup. But we're gonna see, the rest of the hangar is still the sub -door. Has it? It hasn't been nerfed yet, right? No, it's still 600 meters range, good. Um, then we still have the Typhon because it was so much fun whenever I recently played it. Similar to the recent topic of the Angler. I haven't changed anything here, also the Titan is the same. But we do have the um, freaking crazy Avalon no, no, battleship. In my opinion, this thing, it, it, it's crazy powerful. It's really powerful and it, it makes the game easier because you don't have to worry about negative effects anymore. That part I love about it. Um, still, I, I feel like it's not so... Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like the other battleships that we had before, they should still keep their reason and their, their place. But anyways, um, Mirox gifted 10 memberships. That's already a pretty good start. Thank you, Mirox. I also want to say before we keep going here today, uh, I pinned it to the comments. Ladies and gents, let's just keep the drama behind us. What happened on the last two days, let's leave it behind. Let's just enjoy one or two, something between hours of Warabouts content that is hopefully good mood and fun. I'm trying to keep a good mood. I'm trying to learn from things also and use what I can see good as good feedback and learn from it that my content has been a lot negative recently. I'm trying to make it more positive. There is still one coming or the other where I will say a few things, but I'll try to keep it more good moody if I can, okay? So overall, at least, um, doesn't mean I <laughs> I will stop criticizing things that do, do deserve it, right? But uh, let's go for it and find out how good this thing is. And so here as a little warning to the stream chat, guys, keep that, uh, keep that topic um, out of it. No drama, let's just enjoy the game stream. Um, in regards to those two videos that are out there, I think both of us, both of the sides have said what they wanted to say, and I think we're good with it now. I believe so, anyways. So, here we go with the Biomechanoid Nucleons. Um, they look cool. Yep, they feel good. Love your videos, Manny. Io, uh, Ionat Tudor uh, with two pound. Hey man, thanks brother. I uh, I guess that is from uh, from Britain then, eh? Uh, from England. Oh, oh, hold on, there's a, oh no, there's a, oh no, and not just that, there's also this guy coming in. That's a problem. But I think I should get my health back. <laughs> my turret is having some fun. Yeah, I got the health back. So, you know, the Curie is one of the only robots that when I get jumped on by a, a Sonic new, um, Sonic Scorpion, I'm not afraid of it because I know if I just press the button, uh, I will come out of this without any damage taken, really. Uh, and look at this. I mean, dude, that was... Ah, uh, the Curie's got... The, 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 the turrets got the kill. It wasn't my... Um, oh, 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 uh, it wasn't actually my weapons, but, uh, dude, the good thing about the Nucleons is that, what, that's a Natasha! I thought it's a Revenant, dude, it, it looked like a Revenant for a sec, but it was a Natasha. Uh, now I feel bad. Okay, so turrets out, blocking damage, and I can even apparently see him in stealth or whatever, I don't know, he went stealth for a second, or, or I got blinded for a second, I'm not sure, but it was, targeting system came back. I mean, look, the damage is pretty decent. Dude, seriously, the damage, is that an ultimate one? Oh yeah, it is an ultimate one. Look, look how fast he is. What the heck? He's fast as heck. 
with his... Uh... Oh, but it lags so much I can barely hit him. And it... Okay, let's see how quickly we can dispatch of this hawk. Uh, he's walking out of range. Uh-oh, oh, I'm falling. Ooh, I killed him though. Dude, I'm getting the feeling that these Nucleons are actually really powerful right now. Not, not like the number one meta thing, but good enough. Seriously. I think we're gonna have a struggle with the Titans though. But the fact that you never have to reload makes this probably one of the m one of the more better brawlers. Because you can always just keep the button firing down, right? Like this. Never have to worry about... For example, against the Fenrir here, I can just keep rolling. And at this range, it's probably not the best idea anymore. Do I look at my health, man? I have freaking 700,000 health. Freaking Curry. Oh my, I could just walk. I constantly get stuck on the ground for some reason. Look. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, enough with the stealth. Okay, he's gonna fly in two. One. Whoa, I'm taking so much damage. Yeah, that was a nasty titan in my back. But now we're coming back and taking revenge. Hey, why are you flying away? Oh no, there's two titans here. Hold on. Hey, where's my 700,000 HP? <laughs> it's, it's gone. They stole it. Okay. Um, Maddie, you're awesome. Nah, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for being here and watching our streams over and over again. Every every week tuning tuning in and being among the first to comment. Yo, I really appreciate that, guys. You're awesome. So don't say that I am. Okay, okay. I'm super close. In this range, uh, it doesn't matter that I have a high spread. Good. Ah, I have my 700k back. <laughs> Good. Oh no, now it's 300. All right, you know what? Let's just freaking unload on... Uh, well, first on the scorpion, but he's invisible now. Oh, you're, you're taking damage, dude. You know what? I'm not capturing the beacon. We're already winning this. I don't want the match to end too quickly. I feel always responsible for for en length, en lengthening the matches. So turrets is right on him. I'm just gonna keep firing. Okay, and I'm gonna walk around the corner for a sec. When once he turns around, typical sissy playstyle. I come back out. I should not be suppressed because I have uh, the battleship Avalon. That really is good, man. Not having to worry about suppression, lockdown, and so on. Oh. I, I, I mean, it, it, it's kind of OP, but at the same time, man, I'm just happy that I don't have to freaking worry about this. And I hope Pixonic is never going to nerf uh, the Avalon to the point where this no longer happens. I guess I have some time to read the stream chat, because this battle is not ending anytime soon. Um, the Nucleon doesn't even need Sam Stone, in my opinion. Well, I, yeah, when you're close to the enemy, yeah. But when you're far away, you really need it. Because if you're far away, like you fire for two seconds uh, accurately, and then you, you're starting to miss already too much, and then a few seconds later, you're like missing everything. At this range, you're right, I don't need Sam Stone. Uh, the only place where you need it is when you're firing at longer distances. <laughs> this battle is never gonna end. Uh, somebody told me there was already a nerf for the Luchador, but I don't think it's the case, is it? Guys, can you tell me there hasn't been any nerf yet for the Luchador, right? I mean, let me get get this get this straight. I don't think, and I, no, I I don't hope there will be one at all. I love that the Luchador is the like one of the more f accessible titans for the free-to-play player that actually performs well. It's awesome that it does well. <laughs> There's four Curie turrets shooting him too. There's like ten entities shooting him right now. Okay, but match is over. <laughs> the battle with the sea. It's, it's, it's not even the luchador. It's these repair amps that make this. Manny, did you look at the active modules unstable conduit activation price? I didn't see that. Let me check. Uh, 9 million damage with just one Curie. Holy smokes. Dude, 
And that with the old Nucleon. Now it's hard to say which how much damage exactly comes from the Nucleon and how much comes from the turrets, because the turrets do a lot of damage. But um, by the way, uh, technical issues resolved if you haven't done it yet, guys. Get your free present, log in, click received, and boop, there it is. Some boosters and uh, 250 gold. Why not, right? Get it, it's right there. Up for grabs. Um, Pixonic apologizing for some uh, technic technical issues, which is a good move, by the way. Um, we love you, bro. Keep streaming. We'll keep watching. Best streamer, full stop. <laughs> Thank you, Ven. Just juice. Appreciate that, buddy. Tool breakers. Yeah. Uh, ten, ten pound. Awesome. That's a lot. Uh, thank you. Uh, so the price for this new module. Yeah, I, I haven't used this in forever. I always use the face shift, but it's also very expensive. Damn, ba -de 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 -de. 200! 200 power cells. And how often can you do it? What's the cooldown? Five seconds? Nah. Are you saying you can spend 200 power cells every five seconds? Repairable durability is 1.7 HP per second, but it goes 45 seconds long and ignores shields. I said this in uh, test server videos. I think it's a terrible idea because there are too many robots such as the Typhon or other robots that just require their shield to function. If the shield is useless, these robots are basically useless. They don't function anymore. Imagine a Dagon, for example. Dagon robot is really tough with his shield. If you bypass a shield, what's left is a very fragile glass cannon. So an active module simply bypassing all shields uh, for like 45 seconds, nah, it's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. Bro, what did the rebalance do to the Rook? Just got shot from 200k health by, uh, health by an Indra. I don't know, was there a rebalance for the Rook now? No, that wasn't one. You mean like a previous one? Um, well, I will check. Um, can I black out him so he can't get into his uh, other mode? Yeah, nice. Um, I will check out the Rook in a moment. We're jumping into the Rook. However, I have to say that I do have the flamethrower weapons on the Rook, which makes it definitely very powerful. Okay, so that's it for him. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, really well, not nice. Uh... A nice Erebus. Again, another robot, for example, that would be completely dead if I used uh, the, the thing on him. Face shifting. Another. Here, we have two robots in front of us, both of which require their shield to function. If you take the shield away, both of these robots are basically useless overnight. Alright, I think we have this guy to worry about. Oh no, he's ready? Oh, I thought he fired already. Okay, let's see if we can drop him. Okay, we were able to do it, but I lost a lot of health against him. I well, I didn't expect him to be ready to fire. I thought he was reloading. Uh oh. Okay, let's reload again. Freaking reload! There you go. Gotcha, bo buddy. Now he's suppressed. Barely any firepower on him. But the other bro is coming around with his fly. Whoa! He's already flying again. That was quick. I didn't expect that, dude. That was too quick. That flight came way faster. All right, let's play the the Rook, actually, okay? Mm. Okay. Uh, we have 350 meters range. By the way, thank God it's only 350 meters range on the flamethrowers, right? And this time, please don't... Oh, this time I don't want to fall like a moron into the canyon. Remember last time? I wanted to jump over there. And I fell like a complete idiot down into the abyss with a 100% full freaking rook. Dude, that was really pa uh, sad. I want to say pathetic, but <laughs> I, I get the feeling it, 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 I'm not the only one that ever happened to. Especially with a rook where you don't have necessarily the highest amount of um, control over your flight. And yeah, it's really sad for him that I can see him in the air. Oh, but he blinded me. I am blinded by the light. I'm blinded by the light. Come on, dude. Stop hiding there. So, 
Yeah, I mean, this thing is gonna perform well. Because, you know, it's the freaking flamethrowers we've got on it. Let me reload a little bit. Oh, wait, cool down the weapons, because we don't even need to reload. Really, I think that they should, they should do so. And also, look how fast uh, the weapon fills up uh, the, um, the, the battleship meter. It's like instant, man. Battleship meter instant ready. It's weird. I didn't even fire, but I hit him. Did you see that? Look, the guys are spawning. This is another thing. I believe we need a uh, a five-second cooldown in which you can take damage from uh, uh, yeah from any weapons. Let's cool down the weapons. They are losing already. Let's jump on the rook by jumping on the hawk. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, did ya? Yeah. Playing extra tricky today. And look, I mean, come on, dude. This is like a... This is one of the most powerful rooks in the game. Getting completely squished. Oh, man, I... This is... Too powerful. Too powerful. Right, let's get ourselves a fresh shield. Oh, oh no, a luchador. And... A Newton. I have to cool down the weapons. They're constantly overheated. <laughs> I can never uh, cool them down. They're always overheated. Because I'm in the spawn, so there's like constantly enemies spawning on me. I, I don't know how to put it, but, you know, I, I understand Pixonic tr did a little bit of nerfing on these flamethrowers, but man, I don't know, that just doesn't feel right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jump. Whoa, he caught me. Hey, didn't they say you can't break out of the... Um, of the jump anymore yeah no i think the rook seems powerful to me but you know how much of this is because of the flamethrowers it feels like a lot of it is because of the flamethrowers but give a robot the amount of hp that the rook has the ability to jump across the whole map and popping shields all the time with healing the end result is going to be pretty devastating honestly slaying the enemy spawn yeah so in this case i think five seconds of invincibility after spawning would be a good idea unless you move no unless you fire whoa battle armor just dropped a 200 dollar donation here hello again glad to watch more of your streaming video wow dude battle armor that is insane how do you you can like oh you can like a super chat I didn't even know you could like a super chat. Hey guys, everybody, please drop some likes on that one uh, and uh, like it up. 200 freaking dollars. I can't believe it, dude. That is insane. Battle Armor, I remember your name. You've been here on the channel before and you dropped something, man. And I really, <laughs> to say I appreciate this sounds like a joke compared to uh, what you just given me there, man. Thank you so much, really. This, uh, this actually helps me out tremendously. Um, and... Um, <laughs> Really supports the channel, man. Thank you so much, dude. Holy smokes. Uh, and uh, the Bearded One Warbots became a member. Hey, Mac, welcome on board. So, uh, eight, uh, how much? 10 million damage. So let's, go, let's go. No, actually, you know what? Oh, okay, next time. I want to play the Curie and Free for All with the Nucleons. Right? Let's try that. Depending on what setups the enemies will be running, we might... We might... I, I get the feeling we could score first relatively well, at least when it comes to robot combat. When the enemies are dropping their titans immediately, then things will be difficult. Because uh, these weapons don't very do, do very well against titans. Come on, drop the stealth. There we go. I already dropped his initial resistance. Here's a Fenrir. That's good, because I'm just walking towards him. Right? Dropping my turrets and now hammering in as much as I can from from like this. When my turrets at Oh wow, dude, what the heck? <laughs> dude, he's just freaking doing damage. Wow, man, I already lost a, a Nucleon. His, uh, he's got the ultimate uh, sh uh, shotguns there and that is uh, a bit... Apparently, I really underestimated that Fenrir. 
<laughs> oh man, that ended my uh, my query immediately. Okay, so let's see if with more firepower from here we can do something about him. But something's telling me that we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of a problem against this guy with his uh, powerful shotgun weapons there. Yep, he just sh shoots me once and I go down instantly. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. I'm gonna try and bail out a little. I'm not sure if it's possible for me. Nah, because look, they're all here. And I have such a far walk. Actually, I managed to get away. Cool. Maybe I can shoot into his backside, but man, that Fendler is a freaking beast. Goes to show the Fendler is just a monster. He just looks at me, I instantly die. I don't see... Wait, maybe with this? Oh no, we're at the other side of the map now. Dang it. I wanted to uh, shoot him with this setup, because this setup here definitely can't handle him. Because this has enough firepower. With this setup, we definitely have firepower enough to hurt him. See? Now he's actually taking a real amount of damage. He's locked, so with extra damage output. Look at this damage. Look at this. Oh! Now we're firing back at him. That's right. <laughs> now he's got something to be afraid of. Ooh, what the heck? Dude. Oh. He's quantum radaring me, apparently. Yep. Boom, one shot and I'm dead. Alright, let's spawn here and take down this Titan, Titan, this Aether. That Fendler really impressed me, man. I, uh, I didn't see it coming. I, I wanted to, uh, to play the, uh, you know, the, um, what is that? Oh, it's an Okokochi. I wanted to play this Nucleon in short range, the way how you would do it if you really want to do the most damage with it. Come on. Uh, but uh, I didn't expect to be taking this kind of damage. So yeah, he sees the flamethrowers now, and I'm pretty sure he's losing interest in this battle. But uh, I'm not losing interest. I'm very interested in it. Oh, there we go. Now, there's an Indra. An Indra is coming. Oh, I feel like I don't have all the chat right now. Let's get the Indra here. And then see what we've got. Okay, the player with this uh, super powerful Fenrir, he has deployed uh, his um, Eiffel Titan. Let's see if this is a luchador that we can kill relatively quick. Because some of them you can't kill quick because of the repair amps. Some others you can kill rather quickly. This is one that you can kill quickly. So uh, he's shooting me with his uh, homing bullets, but... Or at least he was. Is he landing behind this? Okay. So he's gonna fly in two, one, there it is. He's he's planning his next jump or dash. He doesn't want this fight, because you can't win with these homing machine guns, you can't win against this uh, this Rook. Too much HP, shields, firepower, anything. All right, so Pineapple versus Outra. Yeah, that's right, Pineapple is the name. I actually have a video coming up from the test server, or several videos, in fact, and uh, one of them is going into detail about those names. Um, uh, all right. Um, up, up, up. So, 6.5 million damage, okay. So, I learned that when I see a Fenrir, especially with, from what the looks of it having ultimate Corona and the glory, <laughs> walk away from it. Not a good idea to fight it in short range. He's gonna just pop you real quick. I have like 500, 600,000 he just popped it. So uh, that, was, uh, that was a new experience. Yep. That was very surprising. Um, 
what if the rook was strictly prohibited to use the ability in 90 degrees angles? Uh, huh? Alright, let's play this in free fall. I'm not quite sure how you mean that. Like, he can only jump in... In front of it, but he can only jump in one direction. Oh, not this. Freaking Skyros. I hate the Skyros trolls. So, his turrets are dead now, and my turrets are out. And that means he's gonna take some good damage for a while. But now his turrets are back. I'm going behind cover. Waiting it out. Waiting out his reload too. And seeing we can drop him. Yep. Nice. Oh, freaking... You know, Skyros, to me, they're just trolls. <laughs> Seriously. They're just trolls. It's not like they're not even fighting you. They're just trolling you. But when they run these weapons, the problem is they actually become incredibly dangerous. They're not just trolling. They're also dangerous. Okay, uh, since I never have to reload, he's gonna pop this now because he has last stand. It's a smart player. He knows that during his last stand, he may as well just, uh, you know, go in, get, go in with his firepower. Because he won't be taking damage anyways. Uh, but these trollish freaking uh, Skyros, they are, they are really annoying. Because you just can't deal damage against them. It's like, a, it's like inst you're standing in front of a titan. I wreck with a $10 super chat. Hold on, I wreck. I read that in a second. Wait, who's what? Uh, my kill and my kill. Definitely, both of them deserve my kill. 100% deserve. Nobody else had a claim to it. That was completely mine. If anybody tries to claim that, that would that would have been a lie, because clearly there's only one person on this planet who had claim to these two kills, who earned, who worked hard for them, and that was me. <laughs> I just get, got them both <laughs> for, for like doing nothing. Placing a turret, shooting two Nucleon shots, and it was mine. Um, so, if they deploy the Titan and you focus it immediately, it dies. But if it stay longer, it'll be hard to kill. The Lucha, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because the, uh, the repair amps, they don't kick in immediately. They don't work instantly. But they will begin to work if the enemy is slowly taking damage over time. So, if you can just instantly kill um kill the thing it seems like he uh okay let's just move away um if you can ins instantly drop him then the, the result is going to be good w look how much damage we're doing with these uh with these things now we're slapping two turrets in each other's faces oh come on I'm blocking damage from the guy behind me so that I'm ensuring that I'm the one getting the kill. Then I'm face shifting through his effect of the blinding and placing the turrets and then... And the turrets are even behind him, so his physical shield doesn't even work against the turrets because they're behind him. So they're, play they're just shooting into his sack. So you can really abuse shielded robots when they're in a face hug with you. How many face shifts are you going to use, bro? Or was that the first one? Am I crazy? Or do, was there a face shift before? Maybe I didn't see it right. Um, uh oh. All right. So let's see how we fare against the. Oh no! It's the flamethrower thing. Oh no, dude. Let me just get away from him. Well, my turrets were having some fun there. Okay. I don't think we can beat that. I mean, seriously, I don't think we have the slightest trace of a chance. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to beat that Rook. It's basically the same Titan I use. Alright, from behind shooting him, perhaps even locking him down. I can take 300,000 damage without actually suffering damage for a while. Somehow he doesn't want to fight me. Uh, you know what? He's second place. And what he does is he's just trying to get kills on kills and kills because he wants to be uh, the one winning that match. Uh, understandably. Come, in, come over here, bro. Come over here. Oh, you're stealth for a long time. My kill. Ugh! See, he's not... He's getting locked. Now he can't jump. Nice. <laughs> uh oh Next Titan. What? He did jump? Ah. 9-9. Nine, nine. 
Das machen wir nicht. Nein. Okay, I'm just walking away. You guys can fight it out. You guys can enjoy that one all by yourselves. He's actually shaking his head to the other Titans saying, come on, we don't need to do that. Haha, I messed up your jump. Oh boy. I don't think I can walk away from these guys for long. Uh, nope. But I baited another jump. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just running for my life. Woo! He's following. Ah! No! Okay. I guess without the flamethrower uh, tighten ourselves, there isn't much going to happen. So he says no to him. He wants he wants to win the fight, so he doesn't want to give me another kill. I understand. Uh, Valrets, here's a little something so you could try to get an U UE uh, Fenrir. Yeah, you know that I need it now, right? Without a press account now, I'm no longer in the luxury of just logging into a account that has everything unlocked. Uh, so that helps. Thank you, friend. Oh, it was an assist. I, I didn't work hard enough for this one, apparently. Yeah, so I think he realized now that there's not going to win any, any chance to win this fight. He's gonna use his reflector, I'm just gonna walk behind this. <laughs> what you gonna do? You know, that's the funny thing about the, uh, the Lucha, is that when he uses his reflector, he can't move anymore. Alright, you know what, let's go for him. And pop him real quick. Uh, the enemy Lucha just did a lot of damage against me there. Because I looked into him. And I didn't use all my shields to block the damage. So. Yo! Let's do that again! Yeah! You're trying to get around the corner, and is he going to do that? No, he's not fa Yeah, he's fast enough. <laughs> Lucha just had his jump a while ago, but he's gonna have another one soon. So there it is. Popping fresh shields. I'm just gonna get kills. That's what you gotta do in uh, in this game mode, right? Just getting kills. The rest doesn't really matter. Whee! Jumping away, leaving him alone. He wants to get in cover there, but it's not going to happen in time. Boop. Okay. He's walking into my flames. Very nice. Other guy doesn't have any more robots to spawn in, it seems. Yeah. And this fight, he can't win. Because, look, I was down to 300,000 health. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my health back. Come on, use the reflector. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Now you have your reflector ready. But he's jumping away. Why would you jump away, dude? Okay, here we go. Reflector time. I'm just gonna jump against the wall. Because I have 300 meters range, 350. And he can shoot further, but he doesn't have any damage at that range. So at this range, I have the total damage advantage. Uh, but I'm not sure if we can even kill each other before the time runs out. Honestly, I get the feeling that we might not be able to do it. So this is how you fight the Lucha if uh, he has these weapons. You just try and keep him at distance. Okay, he's gonna have the reflector ready again. 40 seconds, I don't think it's enough time to destroy him. Good, I needed to cool down my weapon anyway, so that was very helpful. So. Yeah. Back to 1.4 million HP. He's stuck there somehow, huh? Interesting. Boop, 
So next battleship. Also, really, I have to say this. Um, the battleship fills up too fast on these weapons. Pixonic needs to do something about this. If the weapons already overperform, okay? If the weapons are already drastically overperform, at least make it so that the battleship doesn't fill up five, five, five times faster than other weapons because it just results in this unkillable thing. So, as usual, when something is wrong, it's like over the top wrong. Why can't it just be a little wrong, Pixonic? Um, Lucha is, is too OP. No, it's not even a Lucha, man. It's, it's, it's these repair amps uh, that do that, right? The re repair amplifiers do it. Uh, okay. Money and Giant War of Us, like the good old times right now. Love it. Yeah, dude, I'm having fun. Oh my god, 17 million damage. Um, I am having fun, and you know, I obviously I see the the, the 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 flaws in the game every time I look at it. But I don't. Maybe I, maybe you guys are right, and uh, maybe I don't have to always, you know, make it a topic. Maybe I make it a topic too often, you know. Um, and if there's if every week I have a video criticizing the game, maybe like summarizing the criticism, maybe that would be a good way to put it. I don't know. Let's see if we can find a good middle way. I know that we're gonna get steamrolled now because we have a... Actually, we have four guys, three guys from the Use Clan. Uh, and maybe we actually have a chance, but they have four of these guys. The Inuvie, or, or I'm not sure how to read that. Um, but we also have three guys from the US U UZ Clan, so... Maybe we have a chance. Actually, wait. It, it looks like it's really even. Three guys from the US, U, UZ clan, and then they have three guys from the... Or two. No, oh, it's two. Okay, sorry. I I, I, th I thought I saw more than... Let me stick with my boys. And fight against the cl clan boys. Let's fight against the stronger clan boys. These are the priority targets. Because they are going to run the most powerful things here. And we're going to have to help our boys get rid of that, right? Ooh, that subduer hurts me at that range. Way more than my Nucleon can hurt him. Probably a bad idea what I'm doing now. To walk in like this. But I'm dropping the turrets. So that they can have a bit of fun. And then I'm running away fast. Wait a minute, what happened to this Mender boy? He just freaking died next to me. He came in to help me, and then he, like, instantly died. That was weird. Ooh, enemies behind me. That's a problem. Yep, that's it for him, though. He made a mistake. He came in with his turrets being offline. That was a big mistake. Uh, but so far, things are looking okay for us. Healing extended. Turret deployed. Nucleons are punching. Nice! Dude, this is good. It's a good match. The guys from the U UZ clan are with me here. Doing a, do, doing a good number on the enemy. Every time they come around from the other side, they're ready to stop them. Oh, is this an Okochi? Okay. Not exactly the kind of thing I want to shoot at, but... Okay, the Dagon. Super powerful beast. The Titan... Look, look, look how long it takes us just to drop the shield. And that is what I mean. The, ti the, ti uh, the Dagon is a super powerful robot when you have to go through the shield first. Then it is extremely powerful. But if you can bypass the shield because you're running uh, this new module, then the, then the Dagon simply doesn't work anymore, you know? And so, I really wish Pixonic wouldn't, you know, in implement things like that. So now he's taking damage, because we dropped through the shield very quickly. Finishing him off, and then phase shift. Okay. Buying myself some time. Following him in, because I'm assuming he had his turrets already used, so... For a good time, he's gonna take... Oh boy, Titan support. Let's move. Let's move. Uh, Harnit Kaul. Thanks for... Uh... Oh, wow. He dropped the turrets. Good good turret drop there. 
Um, Hamid Kaur uh, became a silver member. Hey, man, thanks for joining in. Thank you. See, see what an even match this is? Interesting. I feel like the only place I can attack from is down here. Even though I'm a little alone, but... Uh-oh, Gauss is coming. I saw it and I face-shifted. I think otherwise I would have already been killed. Uh-oh, now comes the Titans with homing bullets. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of the moment when my robot ceases to work. When there's, like, so many Titans in front of us. I'm gonna die now, but it's okay. Let's let's die. Let's go and jump into our Titan. Uh... Ooh, he got me with it. Okay, good. So now we're in our Titan. 13 to 13. We have a Bedwear there. Uh, there's no point to shooting him while he's there. We have to fire at him when he is uh, on the ground. And now I can kill all the robots from here, including this uh, Mugomets there. So now this uh, Luchador, no, no, now the uh, Bedwear Titan is no longer alone. He has got backup now. So this guy is jumping away. And I'm gonna jump after him because once he touches the ground, he's vulnerable. Now he's vulnerable in this, in right this moment. And I can deal full damage against him. And take him out completely. Okay. Very nice. I don't know why he was reflecting. I didn't even shoot him. That was a well, a, a not, not very well placed uh, reflector. And since the reflector is gone... Wait. Was this the jumpy reflector or... Yeah. It must be. Reflecting again, that's fine. Blocking his firepower, sacrificing shields, and uh, and then we're gonna finish him off. Pop. And you see now with the Titan deployed, we have a much greater impact on the battlefield. He's getting hit from behind, he doesn't quite understand from what and how. Popping the shield so that I can get a heal. Uh, that guy behind me, he could fire at me forever. It will never do anything to me. This is this is not dangerous to me at all. So. He's flying again. It's a good timing because I need to cool down the weapons. Popping my shields for added healing. Popping pop. Where did he go? Ah, he jumped there. Okay. Whoa! I didn't expect to get such a far jump from uh, from the lucha uh, from the from the rook. Surprised me a little bit. Okay, overheated. I have 1.5 million HP, and he's doing exactly nothing about that. He's changing that not in the slightest. Oh, I think I pushed him away. Didn't mean to do that, but... So now he's going down. Um... Okay. Okay, that was a good dash. He couldn't get in cover there. At least from me for the moment. Otherwise, I would have killed him there. But my team might be doing it. No, he gets another flight off. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Okay. He's going to touch the ground. Wow, he is so slowly touching the ground. Did you see that? How slowly he was descending. It's like he was on moon. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it looked like he has um, some low gravity there. Normally, he should fall faster, shouldn't he? I support you with all my heart. Glad to hear that, man. Thank you. Always good to see you. Uh, guys, 
Uh, by the way, how many people do we have? Almost 800 people are here watching us. Awesome. Guys, you are the best. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate that. Um, every time it's such a pleasure to boot up the stream and then to see people returning, having a good time, and also, you know, rooting for me that I have a good time. <laughs> because, uh, let's face it, not always I have the best mood, but I'm trying to work on it. Let's see if we can improve on that. Um, and this guy is going down. Nice. We need more Luchador content. The thing is, I don't have one. You know that my press account is no longer active. I, I don't have a press account. I don't have access to everything. And I do not own a Luchador that is well leveled. And if I... I think maybe level 50 or so... Or level... I don't know what it is. It's, a, it's not max level. And also, I... I don't have a legendary pilot for it equipped either. So that is yet another thing that I don't... Um, I don't think I can give you this kind of luchador gameplay that you see here on the opposing side when I fight fight them for 10 years. That moon joke make me laugh, laugh on, on the floor. <laughs> Good to hear, man. Appreciate uh, appreciate you telling me that. Oh, man. Uh, yo. But I'm not crazy, right? He was falling, like, really slowly. <laughs> it's not normal. Oh, wait. All right. All right. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Music is back. <laughs> Vibing. Yeah. Okay, let's go back into our nucleon. Take the beacon. Let's go for it. With repair amps. Oh, you mean like it doesn't matter even if the Rook, uh, Lucha isn't maxed with repair amps, it'll work? Well, if it's not maxed, it will have it will have a struggle to reach the stack limit on the repair amps. Ooh, he EMP'd me! Dude, that was awesome! He had an EMP going, so I couldn't drop my turrets. That is insane. What an awesome move. Uh, I feel like I'm dead. Too many things shooting me. Yep. Okay. You hear it? You, you feel the build-up? Do you feel it in your bones? I feel it. The build-up is coming. It's real. Woo! Having ten times more fun with this music. Oh my god. Every time I want to kill him, <laughs> he has stealth. Um. Okay. Ooh, boy. Just took a lot of damage there. Oh, come on with the stealth. Everyone has stealth. I'm dead. Actually, not quite. Yeah, I feel like I'm being hunted down by met by three guys. Okay. Fire song, yeah, man. This song is also pretty good. Almost got him. Uh. Yeah. There we go. That's how we do it in the money town. Stone Cold Kill Rude. Yeah, man. That was the previous song. EMP? Yup, gotcha, man! His turrets are disabled and I EMP'd him. Yeah! Woo! Uh-oh. Oh, that's not... That's not so cool. 
Okay, I got the Typhon. I think I'm dead. Uh, I almost got him, though. It lags so much. Whoa! <laughs> okay, bye! You have improved... Okay, hold on. Um, I gotta make the music a little quieter. Uh, not this, this. Um, you have improved so much, bro. Uh, me and probably many others here are proud of you, Manny. The good move is right now crazy good. And the music is OP. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you saying that, man. Yeah, I mean... In it's still it's still a struggle for me sometimes. Right now it's really okay. I mean the the Newton meta is over. That was really the biggest problem I had. The Newton meta really killed it for me, man. That was like oh I almost ha I, I couldn't in so many matches I just couldn't have fun. Um, this is better now. Uh, so, but the thing is, I, I already see the next meta coming. So. <laughs> Uh, I, I, but I'm, I have a video about this to topic where I'm talking about the future meta and what gets me worried. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy you see that I'm trying to work on, on the mood and trying to make it better. L so we just lost the match. That's a good opportunity to, to rant, isn't it? Freaking stupid game! Nah, it's okay. Don't need to win the match. I'm happy when the match was... was like the gameplay was okay, you know? Uh, so thanks, Lucas. Uh, 3,400 for your 5 euros. Uh, steel shot for your 100 rupees too. Appreciate that, man. And greetings all the way back to India. We have, in fact, and I know that, a huge following from India. Second place after the United States. United States is killing it. They have like 30% or so. It's just... Remember, there's like a, how many? 155 countries or so. And United States is like freaking killing it with like almost 30%. Uh, but... Um, then we have uh, India with place number two with like 8%, I think. Come on, you need to go. There we go. And you too. Whoppa! Yep. Nice. My crisis is killing it too. I... Uh, ah, are you falling? Are you hovering? What is going on? Sometimes it just lags too much. I can't tell. All right, 600 meters range, but I need to see him to kill him. He doesn't need to see me to kill me. He does, though. I can corner shoot. Or shoot over the cover. Nice. Free damage. Woo! Every time you can take it, take it. Take the free damage. He's gonna try and do that, too? Nope, he doesn't. Pop as he's falling without resistance. Perfect snack. Ha! Delete it from the game. I hit him so hard. Uh... He has a, a real time of 24 hours repair on his robot now. Oh, perfect. Again, I saw him flying up earlier enough. I knew when when somewhere around the, the the thing will end. What am I doing here? What? Dude. What is going on here? Holy smokes, I just freaking deleted the whole map. Living legend. That's right. And living legend. That's right. Ooh, somebody finally noticed me. I'm getting a stealth now. Yep, there we go. We can kill him in his ability. As sad as it is, but... Uh, uh, what is it called? A Seraph is not an obstacle anymore. Even in his ability. Ooh, that was... That surprised me. Okay. Oh, a second freaking disguise unit. Cloaking thing. I hate it. Living legend. You know what? I feel like this is going to be an, op uh, an, uh, uh, an export for YouTube. So, yep. Hello, YouTube. Uh, which is funny since I'm already on YouTube. Maybe I shouldn't keep brawling against the Titan like this. Maybe I should! Because I have more firepower than he does. As crazy as that sounds. I actually do have more firepower than he does. It's ridiculous, I know. But it's true. It is so ridiculous. Okay, hold on. Uh, this guy. 600 meters range is what I got. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, wait. Why are you seeing me? Ah, he's not seeing me. 
he just has weapons that ignore uh, my... Ooh, I need to face shift. I don't want to catch that um, that lasso that he's throwing. Ah, come on, dude. Ugh. All right. Yo, this is... Uh, this was kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That was, that was sick. Whoa, do we have another tenor? Unknown. Hey, Manny, first time donating. I'm actually working on my own robot game on Roblox. Go kick some teams, <laughs> red team's ass. Hey, yo, Unknown, thank you so much, man. Uh, I wonder how well this game of yours on Roblox works. Because I know from what I understand in Roblox, you can kind of build anything in it, right? Like, you can make any game in Roblox. So, yeah, that sounds interesting. I wish you all the best to it when you get something playable ready that is actually ready for a lot of people. Make sure to hit me up. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can make a, a video on it. So, um, ba -ba -dup. E Yo, Kiri time. Team Deathmatch. Alright. Uh oh, it's 9 9. Leave me alone. Yeah, <laughs> I saw it coming from a mile away. Uh, uh. I don't know. I'm a little afraid. Eyes on me! He gifted five memberships! Yo, eyes on me, you're done, man. I re I remember your comment where you said, uh, you're done with War Robots and everything, man. Uh, and it hurt me so much, like, inside of me. Like, I had physical pain when I felt it. Because I know you're a very, very, like, um, you're also a very passionate person about the game, from what I have understood over the time. And, you know, somebody saying that, yo, it hurts. But I understand it, too. You know, it's, I can definitely understand it. Holy mother of freaking nucleons. Pop! There you go. The enemy spawn is pretty busy, which is good. Let's kill all those crisis robots. Right? Drop them. Drop them like it's hot. Drop them like it's hot. Come on. I think I can kill him even in his stealth. And now, with these nucleons never having to reload, I should be good just keeping the button down. And shooting him. See, he, for example, I don't know why he did it, but while he was uh, behind me, he was in flight. Oh, dude, first reload your weapons. I didn't see you. You were in stealth. You don't have to fire. What am I doing? Dude, I'm freaking spawn raiding them. Dude, what is that? This is like old Nucleons just completely blasting the enemy spawn. I, look, I, I love how I don't even need to see him in his stealth. Because this robot is such a large robot, right? You can kill him without even seeing him. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was a Titan. It's just a Seraph. Everything is under control, but he's stealthed. All right. <laughs> this... Oh, he left the game. It's like, enough with this. You killed me with the Nucleon like a hundred times. I'm done with that. Finished. I'm stopped dying to your Nucleons. But see how quickly we begin to lose our firepower due to spread? So, when you're not running Sam Stone at high range, uh, you will uh, you will run into problems. Steel Shot gifted 20 members. Dude, what is going on here? <laughs> you know what I feel like? I feel like our community is like really happy that we kind of stop with this whole, you know, the beef. You know, we, we just let it go, and I, I feel like everybody is just letting it go. Like, we, everybody has said what was, was what needed to be said, and, you know, he's saying hello to me. Hey, man, I would read your name, but you I can't see your name. It's just a freaking uh, fire. Fire your weapon so I can see your name. But, yeah, I feel like our community is really happy that we're, like, burying the hatchet and just going on. Just going on our ways now. Um, fire. There we go. VGF1. Greetings to you, my friend. How is it going, man? <laughs> oh, you there. Come on, shoot me. I dare you. I I, I, I dare you to shoot me. Oh, but he's really loading for like 10 minutes, right? He's got the, the Reapers on it. Oh, he's giving me a shield or a healing. Maybe now I even want to uh, spread my bullets because when he's invisible... Dude, the memberships, the donations, the things are just freaking nuts right now. Look at that flying dagger. 
We must have a Newton somewhere. Yep, there he is. Oh, and now we have an enemy Newton. Oh man, do you see how long he has to target me? Uh, I feel bad. I face shifted. You know what? You know what would have been cool? This was his last robot. If I had not face shifted, if I had just let him kill me. Because I spent 40 power cells, I gained nothing for it, and he could not score a kill in the end. It would have been a cool and fair move of me to just not face shift and just give him the kill. I feel like I should have done that. I feel bad for it. Uh, Mr. Vegeta, congrats for getting sponsored a membership. Uh, what is that? Ah, that's what I saw before. Okay. You know what, guys? It's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening. You feel this? Build up. Woo! That's right. Epidemic sound, man. Awesome library. Come on, come to daddy. That's right. Come to papa. Give me that beacon. Oh, he's trying to run away. Not with me. Let's let the turrets fight it out. Enjoy the turrets, bro. <laughs> All right, we're helping. Okay. Let's get ready for this. Oh, <laughs> man. Woo! Come on, Blitz. You want it. I want it. I know you want it. Let's do it. I need the music to kick in now. Come on. I'm just freaking spawn raiding it, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here he comes. The build-up is beginning. The build-up is starting again. Kill that thing. Can't kill it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, I love the music. Woo! Oh, it's one of those things. Whoa! Run! Run for your life. Okay, I'm still alive. Go! I'm already going. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Now that everybody has turned around, I'm coming in from behind like a sissy again. Okay, this guy. Come on. Money, run! <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Yeah, I'm running. Hey, he got executed, didn't he? Yeah. Alright. Oh, he has another one of those. Oh, and it's with the new weapons, too. Oh, boy, this is gonna be bad. Gonna have to face shift right when my turrets end. But then I think he's reloading. I think he should be reloading now, right? Yep, we got him. We got him, bros! His new weapons don't stand a chance against the Nucleons because I never need to reload. That's right. Oh. Oh, the music is coming. Woo. Whoa. Yep. My chair has like whipping back and forth. I have a good chair. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't bad. That was not bad. What is he saying? Wait for it, wait for it. I can't make out what he's saying. Brace for it? I don't know. 
Man. Okay, and here we go. Let's go for it. Oh, he's face shifting. But his turrets were on. Uh oh, I'm face shifting. Oh, my turrets are gonna outlast yours, friend. Oh, he's running. And he got a lot of HP back, interesting. All right, hold on. Uh, let's make it a little quieter again so that the music is not overshadowing everything. Here we go. All right. Um, let's go do, do the angler. Yeah, let's do the angler. It's been a while, right? I mean, at least a week until last live stream. <laughs> Such a long time. Nice song, Manny. Thanks. Yeah, I wrote it myself. <laughs> no. Uh, it's, it's just an awesome video library, um, a, a song library. Ooh, I hit him hard. Boom. So his turrets are now gone. Or now. And now we can do the real deal damage. Boom. Ow, I think I just got absolutely demolished by ultimate Orcans from behind. They gave me a little back massage there. Yep. I got absolutely ultimate Orcaned. Uh, I can't hit him. But I can drop his shields in two shots. Good. Always fire in sequence when you're sh shooting shielded robots. Then, if possible, get both of their targeting systems depleted. Tang, tang, tang. And drop the Mars. Or try to. Alright, let's see if we can get into another ability here. Ah, no. Damn it. Okay. Mm. Let's do some Ravana. I know my team would need me to spawn the Titan now, but I don't want to carry the match with this overpowered Titan every time. Let's let's just play a few normal robots, right? It's called War Robots. It's not War Titans or Titan Wars. So let's try and enjoy some of those igniters here. They're not ultimate, by the way. It's just regular ones. But I wish I had them in ultimate. Don't have them. Okay, I, uh, I I seem to be having a bit of a problem here. Oh wait, I, on this robot I actually have this module equipped. Whoa, on on the Raven I have this module, the new active 200 power cell thing. I don't want to spend freaking 200 power cells on one module. That's dumb. I don't want to do that. I miss. Uh, I I I didn't see that I have it. So there's no point firing at him right now. Uh-oh. Hey, friend. Oh, what? Come on, man. You can stay a little longer. Where are you going so quickly? Yeah, if my team wants to have a chance at winning this battle, the only way to do it now if, is if I spawn my Titan. And I, even, even with that, I think it's too late. I'm not going to use the active module. No, i I rather die than to spend another 200 power cells for it. It already happened once by accident. I'm not gonna do it again. I didn't know I have this equipped to the Ravana. Watch Pathfinder get nerfed in four months from now. I mean, we all know how this game is played, right? By now. Couldn't really do much. I feel like we have another 10 Super Chats rolling in. Gifted by Mirox, I think. So yeah, Mirox, thank you so much, my friend. Our moderator, I will always call you my moderator, Mirox, even if you sometimes aren't. <laughs> interested in it. So thanks again for the second 10 gifted subs and Steel Shot gifted su 10 too. I don't know if this was the old one or, the, or a new one, but I make want to make sure not to miss something here. So yeah. Um, I should probably say we also have a Discord community server that you may or may not know about uh, in the stream description uh, or a video description of all the videos you find it. Um, and I want to be a little more active there, at least check in from time to time. I haven't been doing this much as of late, as of the last months, actually. So, 
I try to make it a little better. If you are looking for a nice Discord server for War Robots, that is very easy to get into with, with very friendly, awesome people and uh, find easy matches to play with, then uh, check out the, the channel, um, Good Mood Gaming. Uh, it's linked to the stream description. And uh, gifted, Mirox just gifted another five. Wait a minute, is there some donation war going on here? Unknown gifted five and then Mirox gifted five. What is happening here? Yo, I mean, what happens when you gift more memberships than there are users left to gift memberships to? Let's say we have like six, right now, uh, 640 people are here watching. Let's imagine we have all 640 people members and you gift memberships. Who's gonna get them? There's a lot of gifted memberships. Indeed, there are. Awesome. And uh, Harneed Cower gifted uh, KES200. I'm not, I don't know what currency that is, bro, bro but I appreciate that nonetheless. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for the contribution, man. So when a Reaper Crisis shoots you, all you gotta do is drop your turrets and you will not take any damage because at the end of your turret run, he's right there. He's ready to uh, drop the, uh, the Reapers on me again. Well, he are, dude, are you ever not in stealth. Dude, look what the Nucleons are doing with him. They're actually really powerful, I feel like. Is it just me or do the Nucleons really look like they're very powerful? Okay, you are slowly walking into your death, friend. Who's this guy who kept shooting me from there? I always have to think about a swamp when I hear this song. I don't know why. Like some bayou or swamp or something. I think it's because this is something. I believe the song is called like that. Under the bayou or so. Maybe, maybe that's why. Hmm. Can we finish him off? Yep, we can. Dude, I don't know, man, but those Nucleons are really doing a good job. Way better of a job than I expected them to do. Uh, is it just me or are they really good? I'm confused. Like, I expected them to do a good, a, a, a halfway decent job in short range, but I didn't expect them to kill this quickly because those are really old weapons and want him before I face shift. Too many guys shooting my back. Okay, you know what? While he were out of stealth. Oh, the legs. Okay. All right. Yo, the legs are... This is really... I don't know, man. A aside from overpowered content and nerfing it, I feel like the legs are really the biggest issue in the game. I mean, these two things stand out the most for me. Because if the game would run smooth and, like, uh, very, uh, like, fluid, it would feel much better. I'm just gonna drop the turrets here so they can have some fun. <laughs> A little back massage for you, friend. I hope you like it. It's for free. It doesn't even cost you anything, man. It's just for free. I, uh, I'm a certified, um, uh, oh, what is Alan in, uh, Two and a Half Man? Sh chiropractica. Chi what's the word in English for that? In German, we say chiropractica. I'm not sure what the English, English word is for this. You guys know what I mean, right? Alan, you know, the brother of Charlie Harper in, uh, in King, uh, in, in Two and a Half Man. What do you call this job in English? In German, it's Chiropractica. I never knew that. How did I get to this, by the way? Oh yeah, I'm certified in that, yeah. I can be, uh, I can make some very high quality uh, massages that fix any, any problems you may have. And for girls, it's for free. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, let's go. Now, the Newton also got it for free. Sorry, the Indra. It's Chiropractor. Chiro... 
chiropractor or chiropractor. Okay, cool. So it's basically the same word. Um, just, you just pronounce it slightly differently in English. All right. Cryopractor. What cryo? I don't think it's cryo. <laughs> that is something else. It has more, like, more to do with science fiction and uh, preserving people. Preserving their... Uh, Oh, come on, how many freaking stealths do you have? Stupid stealths. Shiro Pactor. Pactor. Alright, clipped. <laughs> so, another one got clipped. Alright, man. I'm just, uh, at least this time I didn't make things uh, worse or say something this bad. Uh, shall I spend PT and upgrade Titan Flamers? Uh, yeah. I mean, is there, if there's anything you should right now invest your platinum in, it's upgrading Titan Flamethrowers. <laughs> Seriously, there is nothing better to do with your Platinum right now. Obviously, of course, it's going to get nerfed at some point. Right now, they are in desperate need of nerfing these Flamethrowers. But hey, those are new and they're going to remain powerful for a while. So right now, the Titan Flamers are going to be the best thing you can put Platinum in. Better than any Titan, honestly, because Titans will... Titan meta changes, but you will always be able to slap the weapons on another Titan that comes out. Let's say tomorrow comes out a new Titan, um, uh, the Alpha Titan, and uh, this thing will, you can just slap the weapons on it and enjoy. Everybody, <laughs> Chiropractor. It gets even more ridiculous now. Cryopractor <laughs> with, with ice things behind it. Yep. Sign me up, Manny, for what? For the massage? All right. I'll book you a, a spot in my calendar, dude. Cicilopractor. <laughs> All right, cool, yep. Uh, Yamantau, oof. Did I ever mention that I don't like this map so much? It's not a, you know, it's better now though. There's more cover on it now. It's not so 100% snipey only and you can basically do nothing. There are these ramps in the middle now that you can walk up on, which I think is really good. It makes the map a lot better. But, I still don't like this grayish bluish. You know what? I would I would have mu much rather have like blue skies and the sun. <laughs> but I want this on every map. Uh, and obviously on a different planet or whatever, it's probably not going to happen. Um or on yeah, you know, not everybody everywhere you can have sun and sunlight. Okay, so how many guys are going to get up there now? I'm locked. This guy is doing a good... Okay, you know what? I'm ready to help him. He's doing it now. I'm ready for you, bro. Do it, and we're gonna do it together. No, where are you going? I thought you were gonna go to their base. Okay, we take this one. Gotcha. All right, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. He knows I'm coming. Yeah. Woo! Hey, man. How's it going? <laughs> Yo, let's let's go to this one. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'll back you up. They don't even know what's going on there. I gotta tur put my turrets down, though. Whoa, look at the damage we're doing to the Dagon, man. I'm, I'm waiting a few seconds before I follow you, bro. Because I first have to kill him. Where's the portal? Ah, there it is. Grr, coming for it, coming for it. Yep, hello. Oh, he just launched the next turret. So now I'm here. Protecting the spawn. As long as I'm on it, they won't be able to get it, so... Ugh. Oh, I'm taunted now. I'm staying on the beacon, I'm not gonna give it to them. <laughs> I'm taunted still. Oh man, this taunting lasts so long. Alright, now they got the beacon. But that was funny. Jumping in with the Imugi and <laughs> just holding the beacon forever. Also, I would like to say, guys, maybe you can uh, thank him in the stream chat. Uh, beheaded for moderating the stream. I would imagine there is quite a lot of work for him to do with 700 people almost still here. So, beheaded, you're awesome, man. Thank you for, for taking on this Her Hercules task of moderating our live stream. Um, and uh, doing such a great job at it, too. So, that is awesome, man. Thanks for, for doing all this, and you guys, maybe you can thank him, too. Okay. The Bedwear Titan is there. We're gonna shoot him. I have 600 meters range, and I'm not afraid to use it. 
Whoopa! Bye! Stacking our health higher and higher. I mean, I gotta say, man, these sub doers, they just feel really powerful. And remember, I have the Kestrel drone here. So every time I drop my stealth, even just for a second, and open it back up, I will gain a, a, a healing. So that is extremely useful. All right, without shield breaking him, just killing him. I like that they added... When did they do this? This little corner where I'm standing on right now. You see it? This little corner is so useful. Because you don't fall so easily. Uh. Ooh, ah, come on, dude. Yeah, you fire at him too. Oh, no, he's just got a stealth for some reason. Oh, okay, I died. All right, do you know... No, do you think that if Warbots had no debuff effects, it would be more fun? Keep in mind, Typhon would not exist. No, um, here... He, I, maybe if you would allow me to alter your question a little bit. Let me let me alter that question a little bit, okay? Um, or And this is how I think it would be the most fun. If there was no... If there were no module or no no module drone battleship effects, if the only effects in the game came from the robots, so the Typhon can do a blackout, but that is his ability, right? The Raker does a mad good suppression, and that is his strength. Okay, so that would be amazing, and I would never complain about these effects, but. As soon as you start letting weapons passively apply these effects as well, and and then having a drone do the same thing, and the battleships, and uh, whatever, you know, pilots, I don't know, whatever else comes in to uh, apply effects. This is where the problem starts, where it just gets way too much. I feel like they should have just let it, let it with, uh, stay with these, um, uh, with the robot abilities only, and they are the only ones who can uh, uh, produce negative effects because let's face it these effects are so strong sometimes that it, like it, it's just a guaranteed loss for you like you're having no chance in the battle or something because those effects are this powerful you know and so yeah this way i feel like it would be awesome i would have no reason to complain about negative effects maybe i would still get annoyed sometimes by something but um it would be way better uh, so, but if you ask me zero negative effects, it would be sad because it means that they're robots like a Typhon or a Cerberus uh, or or uh, an, an Raker. They would basically disappear from the game because they would be excluded now because they don't have because you can't have negative uh, any negative effects. So yeah, that 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 is my opinion. That's how I see it. So in this Warbots Classic, if they bring this as a game mode like in here. Where pilot skills aren't a thing. Pilots do not exist. Drones do not exist. Battleships do not exist. Titans do not exist. It's just robots. Just the robots with their ability and that's it. That will be good. That will be good. I hope that they do this. And I hope that this is like a continuously always staying game mode. That would be really awesome. I have my doubts because if people can just play nothing other but classic Warbots, why would you have an incentive to even purchase drones anymore, battleships, or, or something like this? And I know that how Pixonic is thinking. They were they would be thinking the same thing. So they would be asking themselves, okay, we, we can give the players a classic Warbots, but how do we monetize it? If like 70% of the monetization features and elements are like inactive in that game mode. How do we monetize that? That would be the question that is being asked in the conference among Pixonic when it comes to making it an all-time active game mode. And I understand that. I would that would be something to ask. Maybe this game mode can throw out a few less resources. Like you're uh, you can't farm as much silver. <laughs> you know, right now we can't really farm much silver anyways, like with any game mode. <laughs> but uh, you get what I mean, right? Like making 
a higher incentive for other game modes to to provide higher amounts of resources, for example. Like, you can farm resources really well with um, Beacon Rush, for example, but if you run the other game mode where it's classic, you have, like, a minus 50% resource income or something, you know? I'm trying to find a compromise that would maybe even work for Pixonic. Because I know this is going to be a question they would be asking themselves. And I wish they would do an all-time active classic. That, that would just, like, be such a dream come true, actually, you know? It would be... Maybe this would be what I need to take Warabats, like, a really, like, really serious anymore. And say, like, wow, you know what? This makes it so much better. I can enjoy the game so much more with that. Mm. Yeah, maybe it could change everything for me also. I wonder how Pixonic thinks about this. I'm tempted to ask. At the same time, I'm not exactly on the best foot with Pixonic right now. But I still have the contacts. Maybe I can ask um, if there are any plans, you know? This is such a hyped, a wonderful topic for me. I would be glad to give you guys good news on that. I would love giving you that. Whoa, I just took a whole freaking lot of damage. Those titans, man. Uh, <laughs> let's spawn the turrets right in the middle of all that. Hi! And then take out the Mender Boy that can heal the other titans. He's shifting, but it doesn't do him much good when I can just, you know, um, press the button and uh, I just hold the button down and never have to reload. You just come out of this and I just keep firing. I uh, Dude, I don't know. It seems like I really do a freaking good job with these no uh, Nucleons. Like, not me. I mean, the Nucleons are seem seemingly doing a really good job. I am... I am so surprised. Look at this. The Lucha is taking real actual damage from this. And sure, this is probably not a max Lucha door. And yeah, we have the turrets helping. But man, that is not bad. Oh, that's a freaking far jump you did there, friend. He gets Reflector in two. One. Never mind, he got executed. R, R, no. RRBT Raptor says uh, yes with a $5 super chat. I'm not quite sure what the yes is going for, but uh, yeah, I always like you to agree with me. Uh, <laughs> Yo, I, I don't know what it was, but uh, that, uh, maybe it was the question about this would be like uh, with the balancing suggestion I have with the negative effects. Maybe he means to that. Yes, that would that he would uh, like that too. Or to see the classic Warobots also coming in as a... Uh, okay, I see what's going on here with this. Face shift! To not be affected as much. Oh, man. Where are you? There you are. I feel like my turrets already killed him halfway by the time I just turned around. And you know what? This is an Indra... With not so much firepower. I would like to one-on-one -on -one the Indra, but there is a little more going on than just the Indra in there. And I feel like this is a really unhealthy thing for me to walk into. But now with the uh, Rook, I'm a little more brave. Yep. Let's be brave. I can hide behind the Indra a little bit. Okay. Nice. <laughs> now, now everybody just writes yes in the stream chat. Yeah, confuse me. Go ahead, guys. Confuse me with the question with the answer yes to a question. I don't know. I asked hello Manny an old fan uh, W Ethan. I know I remember the name Ethan. I do remember that. Uh, thank you for tuning back in uh, How long has it been? Nick spy <laughs> everybody's writing yes now Okay, yes <clears throat> How much damage are you gonna do Manny? Yes Okay, so last match, ladies and gents, okay, for today's stream. Now it's going yes only. Uh, have fun moderating that, beheaded. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so last match, we're doing the Typhon again. Uh, sorry, the Curie. 
$5 from Ivan Medrano. Hey, hi, Manny. Oh, God. Everybody writing yes so quick, I can't even read. What kind of job do you have before YouTube? Ah, that is an interesting question. I had no, I don't think I have been asked before. And if I'm honest, I'd rather not answer this one. I, 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 I'm a, I appreciate the contribution. I, I, I li like very much that you uh, sent me a, a little donation there and... Um, and that you asked this question. But on that topic, i rather be a little more careful. Um, and also, you know, you might be asking, hey, why can't you say it? It has a reason why I'd like it not to say it. And no, I was not a police officer or something. Um, <laughs> I think you already knew that. <laughs> money being a police officer, sure. Sure, money, I believe you. Uh, but yeah, I'd rather keep that to myself. And uh, same as if you would ask me for where exactly I live, right? Um, I would keep that to myself. <laughs> you ask me for my phone number, I keep that to myself. I have seen too many bad examples on the internet about, you know, too much information being, you know, something that can really... Whoa, I'm EMP'd in death. Wow, the Typhon just completely pooped in my cornflakes there, man. <laughs> Typhon, come on, dude. That EMP was just spot on. I was just gonna face shift, spy myself time. That was perfection. That Typhon play was awesome. Let's do the same with him, maybe. Um, I Oh, I got it. Nice. Uh, but I'm not doing any damage to him. Dude. Was this like a Paladin battle shield? It seems like I couldn't do any damage to this guy. Okay, I think now we got him at least suppressed, but I'm low too much health, too too low health. It's two guys from the GM clan or something. I don't want to spawn right in front of them, but... 2-2-7, two, two, so we're in a bad lead. Three GM guys. The game masters are in the match. Okay, down to last stand with him, face shift, death. Nice. That was a good duo, friend. Alban. That was well, pe well, way, well put out. Okay, he's face shifting instantly. And uh, no, sorry, activating stealth. The cool thing about the crisis is you can hang your weapons over the cover and just shoot from here. Ah, uh, stealth. Ow, 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 something hits me. Okay. Everybody has last stand, so I can never some just kill something real quick. Ooh, I almost got him down to last stand, I think. But of course, an extra stealth popped up. Oh, I did get him to last stand. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Bro, now you're a little in my way. Uh... Ah, everything is stealth all the time. Oh. oh. Every time I want to look at them, they're stealth. I, every time I want to shoot. I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go here. Alright, so killed one and heavily damaged the other. Okay, the first Titans are coming in. But we have a pretty decent spot here. Did some decent damage. He's got one of the Titan flamethrowers, so I gotta be careful with him. He's gonna be able to really, really end my match a little bit there. Okay, this guy is shooting something else. No, we already dropped the Lucha by like... 50% This Mars is really careful uh, Not this time Not careful enough Alright, let's see if we can You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna spawn my Titan Even if we lose the match, it's fine, you know I don't need to win the match It's okay, uh, even if we don't I just wanna enjoy the gameplay And right now I'm doing this with this uh, Crisis robot
seems like I may have to want to go here. Okay. Alright, though, in this case, now that I am dead, I will spawn it. Let's see if maybe we can turn it around the match. Help my team out. Whoa! Dude, sometimes the jump is insane. I don't understand why. Sometimes you just jump, like, five times the, the, the length. Or speed. Is he gonna reflect? You know what? I'm gonna bail because there's like three titans trying to squish me. And instead, I'd be coming over here and getting some, some quick quicker kills from this way. And uh, the Indra is there coming. Okay. That is lots of damage that I'm suffering, but there's not much I can do. But I can make things a little more difficult to the enemy to get me by jumping up here. Why can't I walk into this corner? Dude, I, I, I can't walk into this corner to be safe. Already lost a weapon. Well, I guess this match is over. Yep. Uh, I wanted to walk inside the corner where I would be safe from most of the firepower, but I was somehow blocked. Alright, there is more coming in. Mirox, I think, with another 10 and another 5 uh, gifted members. I really don't know what happens when you gift, like, all the members we have watching. Uh, Mighty Mender with $10. I've been a fan of for, for years, Manny, and still haven't faced you in a match. Maybe one day. Ha! <laughs> Yo, uh, thank you, my friend, for the tenor, and I... Uh, I don't know. I, I've seen so many people from stream chats in the matches at some point or the other, but I, I don't think I actually ever uh, remember a Mighty Mender, at, at least if this is your in-game name. I don't think I uh, remember that. So, do you know why we lost this match? I can tell you why we lost this match. It's because I didn't jump into the Titan early on. I jumped into the Titan very late, and so I missed the, the window of opportunity in which I could have just killed the Titans quick and on my own. Now, it was like so many Titans here that uh, I can no longer kill them. When you have four Titans on you, I can't kill them anymore. It's too, too much. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I missed the window of opportunity. So we could have probably won this match if I hadn't uh, waited out the spawn of the titan if i had spawned it as early as i could and one by one deleted the enemy titans then they would never have come to this position where they can steamroll our team with this many titans like it is right now right i'm not going to use the power cell icon nope nope i'm not gonna use that oh god another titan dude it's like the only robot I killed was the only Titan they didn't have, and so he spawns a Titan too. Alright, so, um, pretty, it was a fun last match, I appreciate that, it was not a win, but it was good. Thanks so much, Mirox, for gifting me a membership, Mao uh, Rokai, yeah man, uh, thank you Mirox for doing that for the people. Also everybody else who did it, right? Also, everyone who sent some uh, contribution in form of a donation, I really appreciate that, guys. A special mention, I feel like, has to be done for Battle Armor here with his freaking $200. Holy smokes. I didn't know this was going to happen today, dude. That is just such a pleasure to see. Makes me really happy to see it. Like, wow. Such a wonderful end for this stream for me, like, to go with a great feeling out of the stream. Um, and also, I want to specifically say thanks to every single one of you who just comes here and watch, right? I don't want to miss out on saying that you guys, even if you're not sending a contribution, if you're just watching here, uh, every, every one of you, I, I really enjoy that so much. It's so cool to have you here for these live streams. Let's see when Warbots Classic will arrive. I feel like this could actually be a new chapter in terms of Warbots here, depending on how it's done. Uh, let's see. So, did you end the live stream? I'm about to do it right now. I don't know, if you're not seeing it right now, then maybe you have to refresh. KES, one, what is that? 1,000 KES. What is that KES? Hold on, I'm gonna have to look it up. 
I need to see currency, currency K E S. K Kenyan shilling equals. Okay. And 1000 in that is like 7 euros from the looks of it. As you can see here. K? No, wait. K K S E. It's different. It's not K E S. Uh K E S. I don't know what it is. Uh but yeah. So, back to the game. Um I, I, in any case, I appreciate it. <laughs> Even if it's nothing even if you guys are just watching, I'm happy to have you guys here. And 1,000 definitely sounds like a lot. And it is a yellow symbol, so it seems like it is more than the smaller. So in any case, thank you so much, all of you, for being here. I wish you a great day, a great, great night, whatever it is for you. And I catch you in the next live stream and video tomorrow. Probably tomorrow in the next video. So, and again, maybe closing words about the recent drama that was going on. Let us all leave that behind. Let's look forward, because we're all here for Warabots, and I think we're all, we, everybody said what wanted to be, or needed to be said, got it off our chest, vented it out, and maybe we can move on from here, okay? So, thanks for guys, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one, and Manny signing off. Bye-bye. Manny, what? I missed something? Oh.